What's up, my groomer fans? For the last few weeks, we've been testing the new Recon pads from 661. These are the lightest, most minimalist knee pads in the 661 lineup. We're going to talk you through the pros and cons of these pads and talk about what kind of bike rider and what kind of rides these are going to be most appropriate for. First up, what's the fit like? The Recon pads are of a basic slip-on design. Above and below the main pad are, is an elasticated material that helps it hug your thigh and your calf. And on the inside of each of those cuffs is a silicon strip that further prevents pad moving up and down as you're pedaling. The Recon pads sit unusually high up on the thigh. You need to measure your thigh circumference about halfway up. I measured mine at about 48 centimetres, which puts me between a small and a medium. I opted for the medium and I found that to be quite a good fit. At the back of the recon pad is an elasticated pull tab that allows you to pull the back of the knee pad up your calf for a perfect fit in this area. Unfortunately for me, after several hours of pedalling, I noticed that the seam at the edge of that hole rubbed the inside of my knee where it creases right at the bend. At the top, you may have noticed this popper here. And what that does is it allows you to secure the recon pad to 661's Evo shorts. And this is part of their padlock system. So you can connect the recon pad to the shorts via this popper. And what that should do is it should help prevent the recon pad slipping down your thigh um, during an impact. What about safety? The recon pads are CE certified to the EN16211 level one standard, which means they've actually been tested independently in a certified safety testing facility. The D3O Ghost protective insert is primarily responsible for protecting your knee. It's pretty thin and super flexible, which means it moves seamlessly with your knee as it bends and extends throughout the pedal stroke. If I take my thumb and my forefinger and I pinch the D3O Ghost pad, I can actually feel them touch because you can separate the, the parts of the D3O pad there because they're not actually homogeneously solid throughout. It's not completely solid. This is what gives the pad its incredible flexibility and breathability but it does mean that if you were to come down on some chunky gravel or pointy rocks, the pad is unlikely to protect you as well as a less flexible, solid D3O pad would. For that reason, I wouldn't recommend the 661 Recon pads for riding loose, rocky trails. They're definitely more appropriate for trails with a cleaner, softer surface like loam or clay. Of course, it would be wrong of me to compare these to a full-on enduro knee pad. What 661 have designed here is a lightweight, wearable, breathable knee pad that will prevent light cuts and abrasions only. I'd recommend these as a good option for casual XC and trail riders. If you're looking for something a bit burlier for downhill or enduro riding, 661 have some much more protective options on their way in the next month or so. The 661 recon pads are now available in sizes small to extra large, retailing at $84.99.